Hey guys, it's Dr. Polly. Uh, today we're going to do the oil seal. Now the oil seal is a little bit more of a complex shape and we're going to revolve it around a uh, axis of revolution um, and, we, and also we're going to uh, take measurements from that axis of revolution. Um, the purpose is, is that when we revolve this it will actually be a hollow object, okay, it'll just be a ring. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that. So I'm going to do a revolve base uh, right side. And the first thing I'm going to do is give myself a center line. Um, and which I'm going to take all my measurements from. And then we'll take a standard line and I'm going to sketch that basic shape. And I'm going to be careful where and if I apply any... Uh, constraints because I don't want this I don't necessarily want things snapping um, or I don't want them to snap so I'm just gonna kind of watch it and I feel a little short here so I'm just gonna bring this out until it lines up and then I'm going to use my extend option to extend that point down there all right so let's go ahead and get some dimensions going um, the outside diameter of this well they don't have it by diameter, they have a radius, is a 0.75. So I'll go ahead and apply that. Um, the width, cancel. The width is a 240 thousandths. Um, let's see what else I'm going to knock out here real quick. Uh, this height is 675 thousandths. This height here is 548 thousandths. All right, let me zoom in here a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Okay, things we need to know. This line and this point are uh, lined up or collinear, so I'm going to grab this point, hold control, grab that point, maybe. So uh, there we go. So that dimension going. Uh, make those vertically aligned. Uh, there's also a circle here, and the center of that circle is also aligned with this uh, point here. So I'm like those vertical as well. It's 45 degrees. <coughs> Excuse me. Just to make sure. Uh, let's see what else we got here. It's uh, 0 0.080 there, here to the uh, axis is uh, 600 thousandths, it's 215 thousandths from here to here. Now if it ever gets weird like that, you can just move some of this stuff until it starts to make sense. Something like that. Doesn't really help much, but it's there. Oops. Uh, let's see. This is uh, is forty thousandths diameter, so o four o. Now this line here and this line here are collinear, so I'll put them on the same line. We should be good. And this is. I want to say it's centered. Uh, let's go ahead and do the dimension for it. It's a 493 thousandths. That should get most of it. I think the only thing I'm really not locking in place is here. So what I'll do is I'll delete this dimension and I'll go from line to line for 240 thousandths. And that uh, locks everything in. Uh, when I did it the first time, I, I just took this line and dimensioned it, so that technically went from point to point. But uh, if you go line to line, uh, it'll lock it in. Now, let's go ahead and put our fillets on it. Uh, fillet. So, 25 
25 thousandths. And there's one here, there's one here. All right, that's the entire thing right there. Uh, notice how I use some geometric constraints to line things up, um, get things where they need to be, plugged in dimensions, uh, everything's fully defined. So when we'll finish this, exit my sketch, it automatically takes it, uh, it recognizes this center line here as an axis of revolution. Uh, 360 degrees and select OK and we're good and what we've done is we've created our oil seal.